So, for week number three in uh, Trends, Networks, and uh, Critical Thinking in the 21st Century, uh, this will be our topic, no? the uh, standpoints of thinking. So, there are two topics here in uh, the standpoints of thinking. First is metaphysics, and the second is dialectics. And then, we're going to compare the two. Now, it's about the, the stand, standpoint of thinking, perspective or view of thinking. So, Let's start first by uh, reviewing. No? So, uh, this thinking is part of philosophy. No? So, uh, thinking, alam uh, naman, philosophy, it is uh, the love of wisdom. Uh, it, it is more on logical questions, more on uh, analytical and uh, critical thinking. So, as we review uh, philosophy, part kasi, part kasi niya yung metaphysics and dialectics when it comes to thinking. Meron silang of course, there's a comparison. Review na natin yung philosophy no? para makapunta tayo ng metaphysics. So, as we all know, uh, it came from the uh, Greek word philosophia means philia, the love, and uh, sophia, the wisdom. So, therefore, philosophy, it is the love of wisdom. So, it's about logic, it's about reasoning, it's about arguments. And then, uh, philosophy, uh, it answers the question, what's what? which is uh, related to reality, what's good, value, and what do we know, or uh, what's true, which is seeking for uh, knowledge and truth. And then, uh, metaphysics, ang focus natin dito is metaphysics. So metaphysics as a branch of philosophy. So metaphysics, as we define it, uh, it's, uh, it's uh, about the study of uh, the reality or the study of nature, what is beyond, what is above, or after. So, me meaning metaphysics, metaphysics, hindi yan yung physics sa science. Physics is about uh, matter or uh, substances, no, yung mga law of motion, law of uh, acceleration. But uh, metaphysics, when we put here in uh, philosophy, it is about the study of the nature. No? Uh, metaphysics, uh, ito, uh, just a uh, review lang mga ito, no? pero mag-focus tayo sa metaphysics. These are just uh, other uh, branches of uh, philosophy. Ito, no? So therefore, metaphysics, as you can see here, it is the philosoph philosophical investigation of the nature of reality, being, or existence. So it's very logical, meaning uh, finding your existence in the world. What are the reasons? What are the uh, reality? What is the beginning? No, of all your existence, something like that. But moreover, you can uh, discover later no, the reality behind metaphysics. And then, meron pa kasi siyang ano, iba't iba siyang branches. So metaphysics as the theory of being or the theory of existence, meron pa siyang iba't ibang uh, branch. So and maaari yung pag-usapan yung mga theory related to human existence, human nature, uh, theology, this uh, universe, no, related to universe. Okay, something like that. So, ayan. Iba, iba pa tong branches. So, uh, let's just review. Mak makikita nyo dito, may mga related questions, no, kung ano yung mga maaring pumasok sa metaphysics or ano yung mga uh, philosophical questions involved. So, here, uh, as we know that metaphysics, it is the... Uh, study of reality, the study of being, the study of existence. Therefore, it is a being answerable by, uh, by these uh, questions. No, so, maaring ito yung mga question, very logical siya, mapapaisip ko talaga dito. Like, why is there something rather than nothing? Is it possible that prior to now, there was ab absolutely nothing in existence? So, it's like uh, finding more information or more answers beyond existence. So, para siyang uh, uh, it is very, ano, may uh, exact kong sagot siya. No? Hindi, hindi siya, ano eh, hindi siya yung complex. What I mean complex, pag complex kasi maaari kang maraming answers, but metaphysics, ano siya kasi direct, direct answer to the uh, question. Uh, it is uh, more on what is true. No? Parang related siya sa science, no? Kasi nga nature. So, ano yung origi origin, ano yung uh, pinanggalingan niya, ano yung kanyang definition, ano yung kanyang nature. Uh, uh, yan, example pa natin dito. 
Is reality fundamentally one or many? No. What is the relationship between the uh, one, the two, and the many? No, mapapaisip ka talaga dito. Bigyan ko rin ng background knowledge about metaphysics muna. And then, uh, meron pa siyang iba't ibang related questions like finding the truth about the universe. Uh, supernatural, the reality, the nature, what is the roots of, ev root of everything, more on philosophical implications of reality. So, tinitigyan niya more on yung reality. So, um, nature, science, related. Ayan, also in uh, metaphysics, ayan, tinitigyan niya, does God exist? Pupaisip ko na liligay dito. Meron siya dapat mga evidence, no? What is the nature of God? If God exists, how is it possible for pain, suffering, and disorder to exist? No, parang questioning the question, no? If uh, the question has already an answer, kailangan mo pa ulit panungin. Para siyang double checking if uh, the question is behind the reality or it needs more uh, evidence no, to answer that question. Marami siyang ano eh. What are the basic characteristics of human nature? How are the human mind and the human body related to each other? Para siyang may contradiction, pero direct yung kanyang sagot. Is there freedom of will? Who am I? Where did I come from? What, where am I going? It's all about the reality, the existence. Finding the meaning of the existence. And then, ito pa yung iba. Related naman to sa ibang uh, branches ng uh, philosophy. Yan. Tignan pa natin. So, ayun. So, I will give you that uh, background of um, metaphysics, no? But more on, as I discuss our uh, lesson, no? Uh, let's uh, focus here, no? The two standpoints of thinking. So, metaphysics, uh, scientifically speaking, and uh, as we focus in social sciences, no? as your subject in uh, critical thinking, no? Uh, Nalaman nyo na na philosophy related siya sa metaphysics. No, as you can see here, metaphysics is a standpoint that inquires to what is what exists. Meaning, metaphysics not just answer what's what, the reality, the uh, theory of being, but more on it deals with science. Meaning, uh, metaphysics wants to find the answer or the causes. Ano yung pinagmula ng bagay na ito? Ano yung sanhi kung bakit ito nag exist Ibig sabihin nun, Naniniwala din itong uh, metaphysics that things do not change. Meaning, being as such, first causes, and there are unchanging things. No? According nga do kay Aristotle, no? metaphysics, it is the first philosophy. No? Ito yung kauna-unahang uh, parang foundation of uh, philosophy, philosophy de la book wisdom. Because metaphysics is finding the causes on existence of the per, of the person or, or the human no and the uh, metaphysics it is uh, what is the nature of reality how does the world exist what is the origin or the source of the creation no hindi lang hindi lang uh, proof yung mga hearsay yung mga naririnig yung mga uh, nababasa but it is more on the evidence does the world exist outside the mind how can uh, the incorporeal mind affect the physical body is there a god so something questions which is a uh, it is akala uh, it is a science of thoughts no that seeks to find what is ultimately real as opposed to what is apparent it interprets matter although reading it from the philosophical manner so it is the uh kung sa science in a uh, philosophy uh, para sa yung pinaka evidential when it comes to philosophical thinking no it's more on logical na as what I said. So, involved dyan, um, uh, bigyan ko kayo ng example, no? Nakalagay dito, di ba? When we look at the sky, we see the clouds. Of course, we see clouds. And one apparent feature of the clouds is it as smoke-like. So, makikita natin yung uh, external characteristics. Yung kanyang outside uh, features. So, of course, as you describe, what is the color of the color of the cloud it is blue is it is white it is uh poppy it is uh, like a smoke like usok usok diba but it is the uh, ultimate reality of the cloud so tingin ba sa pamamagitan ng pagtingin sa cloud as you describe the uh, external features do you really know what is the uh, reality behind the, those clouds so ang um, mission nitong metaphysics no clouds according to nasa no are created when water vapor 
an invisible gas turns into liquid water droplets. So, nakikita niyo na nga dyan, it is more on science, no? These water droplets form on tiny particles. Alam naman natin yan, no? The water vapor, and then, ayun na, mag-create ng cloud, tapos uulan. Like dust that are floating in the air. Therefore, for metaphysics, sa ano na, sa perspective ng metaphysics, the ultimate reality of the clouds are that they are made of glass rather than smoke. So, what is the reality? So, syempre, after ng water vapor, mag-iipon-ipon yan doon. No? So, sa patingin ng metaphysics, it is more on the deeper interpretation of the world. It is the deeper interpretation. So, kung ang reality, eto na mismo yung nakikita mo, but more on, meron pa pala siyang deeper interpretation. What is the reality behind of that matter? How does it exist? And, uh, yun, uh, very logical siya. Yung parang, ah, ganun pala yun, hindi pala... Pag nakita mo lang isang bagay, meron pa pala siyang deeper inter interpretation behind that. And then, bigyan ko na example, no? Related to metaphysics, no? Bigyan natin ng uh, comparison, no? Existence, makikita nyo, familiar sila, di ba? Very connected, they are similar. Existence and consciousness. Now, what is the uh, difference between the two? So, uh, according, to the philo according to philosophers, no? Existence and consciousness, no? There is no consciousness if there is no existence. Of course, how do you think if you will not, if you are not, uh, if you do not exist? Paano kung mag-iisip kung di ka nag-exist? Of course, everything will start on existence. How will, how will you think if you are not here? No? Do, therefore, existence is the primary and consciousness the secondary. Of course, kailangan mo mag-exist bago ka mag-isip. Para, para ka magkaroon ng thinking, no? Which is very uh, logical and philosophical, no? Paano ka nga ba mag-iisip kung hindi ka nag-exist? No? So, sa metaphysics uh, related yan dyan, no? And, uh, according to the philosophers, no? Consciousness is not responsible for creating reality. Yung mga inisip natin, hindi daw yun yung nagiging dahilan kung bakit daw may mga, re may mga related na sitwasyon na nangyayari. Ibig sabihin, it is it is uh, completely dependent on reality. Ibig sabihin, you cannot just think without doing an action. So, just by your consciousness, by thinking, hindi naman talaga mag-exist yan. Pag inisip mo lang yan, without doing the action. So, you need to act. No, metaphysics uh, focuses on consciousness, consciousness and existence. Pag existence naman, is it is independent. Ibig sabihin nun, uh, a person may exist without a... Kailangan nang talaga niya mag-exist. I hope you get what I mean, no? Existence in the, is independent of a makes possible and is a prerequisite of consciousness. Therefore, existence should be the primary uh, reason before you uh, undergo thinking. Right? Of course, con that's ano, existence versus consciousness. Mauna mo mag-exist, syempre, ang isang tao bago ka mag-isip. No? And then the second example natin dito, mind and matter. No? Ito naman ang example natin dito, the connection of the mind and the body. So do you think there's a uh, connection between the two? No? Para sa pag-ano pag nila, syempre meron connection. Because we cannot move our body without the brain, without thinking, without the function of the mind, and without the function of the brain and our nervous system. And... Uh, but for the philosophy who believes in uh, philosophers who believe in metaphysics, no, mind and the body is separate from each other. They are connected. That uh, metaphysics in the aspect of metaphysics, they are separated. Why? Because they are totally different. The men, the mental or the thinking does not have extension in space, and the material cannot think. Right? Of course, just like this pencil, do you think this pencil can think? No, of course not, because uh, it, wala siyang ano siya, wala siyang buhay. So, uh, mental does not have extension in space, and the material cannot think. So, without without this matter, this matter cannot think. Kaya nga sa sabi nila, uh, mind and the body is uh, separated with each other. Of course, there's a point, right? And then, it also may uh, be uh, examples, mga objects. Do you think this uh, mouse can think? Of course, this can just uh, function, no? 
But uh, overall, naniniwala yung mga philosopher dito sa metaphysics that mind and body cannot uh, be connected. They are separated. Because without uh, without the mind no perspective ng iba, the body cannot move. Uh, but uh, for them, philosophers, they are separated. Meron kasi silang function. No? Medyo logical din yung kanilang mga pinag-iisip. No? The material cannot think, of course. Therefore, metaphysics, it is the deeper interpretation of the world. Yung nga, clouds, the water vapor, the glass, rather than the smoke. So, metaphysics, just a... Uh, uh, remember that this it, this may be connected but sci- more on science but it is philosophical no it is a deeper interpretation of the reality what's behind that uh, existence so that is metaphysics and then when we say dialectics ito yung contradiction ng metaphysics why because dialectics it is more on complex kung yung uh, metaphysics meron siyang direct answer etong dialectics very complex Meaning, uh, it is the opposite on of metaphysics, no? So, dialectics, it is the contradiction between the two conflicting forces. Rather, it is the determining factor in their continuing interaction. No? So, according to dialectics, ang mundo ay umiikot sa motion, sa change, sa pagbabago, at sa spiral development, no? Sabi ng dialectics, motion, ang paggalaw ng isang tao, it is the mode of uh, existence of all matter. Kung hindi ka gagalaw, walang mangyayari. Kung sa ano kasi metaphysics, na parang more on reality the nature the existence, but dialectics needs action. Meaning, the motion that the person uh, does every day, kaya siya nag-exist because nag siya. Of course, how can a person function without a uh, doing nothing, no? And the uh, motion, it is the contradiction, no? Contradiction, motion, everything changes. Of course, kung ikaw ay gagalaw, syempre, if you're going to uh, do an action or anything, your routines every day, so, it may change. Para, di ba para sa ano, para dun sa metaphysics, what is uh, the existence cannot change, meaning, unchangeable things. Samantalang sa dialectics naman, it is, change is inevitable, meaning everything changes. So, in dialectics, change occur through quantity or quality. If you do a motion to a certain to a certain uh, object, no, ito, nakastanday lang ang pencil. If you do motion, of course, it will fall. So, it will affect the uh, changes of the pencil because as you do motion, babagsak siya. So, there's a change. No, wala siya dun sa kanyang position, original position. Whatever happens, change is inevitable. So, therefore, motion, change, and uh, the spiral development, yun yung pinaniwalaan ng dialectics. No, bigyan natin ng example in politics. If a politician will do his or her plan or a platform no, in his or her concept, constituent, so, there's a motion. No, magpa-plano siya ng kanyang... Uh, sa kanyang platform. And then, he, he or she will apply change on that particular city or the government. That's why magkakaroon ng spiral development. Magkakaroon ng changes. No? Kung pangit yung nangyari dun sa previous administration, they will change it. That's why motion and the consequent changes because of it result into a development repeats. Of course, how can you do action? Siyempre, lahat nag- nagbago yan. So, there is changes. Therefore, there is development. Sometimes, there's also decline. The declining uh, development. Kasi yung, develop, yung development, dalawa yan eh. Hindi yung development which is positive. No? Umaangat ka. But development, meron din yung declining position. No? Changes proceeds in spirals and on a higher basis. Sometimes it's positive. No? Matter transforms in a development by leaps. So, resolution of a contradiction through the unity of opposite breaks in continuity. Transformation of quantity into quality occurs or inner impulses towards development. So, ganun yung thinking ng dialectics. Bigyan natin ng comparison, no? So, there's the... Ito yung bigyan natin ng example. Mapapansin nyo dito, pag metaphysical yan, metaphysics concepts of reality, 
meron siyang direct answer. Samantala yung uh, dialectics, complex siya. No? So, example natin dito. Isang statement, reality is genuine instead of deceptive. So, according to metaphysics, reality is simple and not variegated, meaning reality is only the reverse in external appearance. Reality is a self-interpretation to what exists. So, kung ano yun, yun talaga yun. So, it, it, you, you, you can say that black is black as what we see on, on the uh, features. So, black is black, white is white. Yun na yun. Samantalang sa dialectics naman, kakaiba to. No, kung sabi niya, reality is complex because of the rule of contradiction. No? Uh, meaning, it is recognizing black that you were able to find white. Ibig sabihin, masasabi mong black yun kasi nakita ka ng isang bagay. So, uh, you can, uh, for example, uh, this, uh, this pencil, no? you know that uh, this is orange or yellow no or uh, this is black because uh, you can see that marami kasi siyang ano marami siyang interpretation complex nga siya hindi lang siya nakastock doon sa mismo kung ano yung nakita mo yun na agad yung masasabi mo no marami siyang pwedeng dahilan na you can see this as a yellow or a uh, orange no kasi alam mo na yung pencil yung kulay niya is ganito talaga siya from the beginning no it is in uh, recognizing black that you were able to find white alam mo sa maduming papel no you can say that that paper, markahan mo lang or tintahan mo lang ng kulay black yun, masasabi mo siya na black or white because of the appearance. So, sabi sa inyo, dalawa. Dalawa yung nakikita niya. No, many uh, it's very complex. Literally. Example pa natin. Ano ba? Reality is original in contrast to derivative. Example, you are an original version of yourself. Para naman dito sa pag-iisip ng dialectics, you are the sum total of internal and external factors. So everything that you do may reflect to yourself, no? such as how you were brought up and the decisions you make in the process. So it makes you because you decide. So para siyang malalim na interpretation, which is very complex, may iba pa palang meaning yung you are the original version of yourself. And then, ito naman, wala tayong magagawa, ganyan talaga ang kanyang kapalaran. So for the dialectics, life is a journey. So, it is very complex. No? Hindi lang siya may sasakto kasi parang doon lang yung hangganan niya, the reality itself. But uh, in dialectics, marami siyang, uh, uh, parang life is a journey. It is a process. It has many roads, it has many paths. No? Tapos, uh, yun ako binanggit ko kanina, nag evolve due to changes. So, dialectics believes in changes. Believes in development. And then, also, uh, in metaphysics, it see the world as a whole in general. Meaning, substance can be explained through itself alone. As what we described yung clouds kanina, by looking at the external uh, features, it is blue, it is uh, uh, white, it is uh, smoky. No, Metaphysical study of history presents only compilation of events or panoramic presentation of what transpired in the past. Ibig sabihin, History is the study of the past. Tapos, samantalang dito naman sa ano, sa dialectics, dialectical presentation of history is done through stages of development. So, kaya syempre, masasabi mong past, the study of the history, because it undergoes with the changes or the stages of development na nakikita natin in the present, in the present era. Example natin, uh, this is the 21st century. So, the 20th century, century the uh, 19th century, no? Siyempre, there are ano, uh, history, the world wars, the uh, battle, the battle of uh, countries in the world. No? So there are uh, stages of development. And it is also contextualized a series of events to the general situation of a certain period. Maari niya mabangit. Bakit nag exist itong isang bagay? Because they learn from the history. No? It transforms into a development. No, so what you've learned from the past will surely affect the present. No, you learn from your past. No, uh, may nakulong nga, history repeats itself. No, history may repeat itself because um, people don't decide properly during the past. That's why it uh, repeats itself. Somehow, meron din naman, it repeats pero maganda yung kanyang pinalabasan. No, very complex in dialectical thinking. There's, contra there's contra contradiction. So yun lang naman yun, eh. madali lang siya, no? So uh, that's the comparison between 
metaphysics and dialectics. Metaphysics based on reality and uh, dialectics, it is more on uh, complex and contradiction, many interpretations. So, yun lamang siya. Thank you so much. Hope you learn and understand uh, these uh, week three. Madali lamang siya. Para siyang logical questions. Um, uh, comparison of thinking. So, that's it.